Visit Ford Space at the Canadian International Auto Show this year, and it looks like a typical lineup of products. Cars, vans, SUVs, that one fancy race car. But don't be fooled, things at the century-old automaker are changing quickly. In just a few years, Ford's product lineup could look completely different. Just ask Cheryl Connolly, a manager of global consumer trends at Ford. In five years from now, you will actually see autonomous vehicles on the road, uh, at least in, in a commercial setting for ride hailing services. And I think that will be the first step that gets us that much closer to seeing autonomous vehicles in a much more universal application. The automaker is serious about its plan to see a self-driving fleet of cars hit the pavement by 2021. It's acquired a spate of tech startups to help it transform the company from the inside out. For example, in February, it invested $1 billion in Argo AI, a Pittsburgh-based company dedicated to self-driving cars. Now, that team is joining Ford's robotics unit. The company has changed its entire strategy around collaborating with outsiders. Rather than keep its AppLink platform proprietary, it's sharing the source code with developers. It announced that at CES in 2013, it led to a slew of smartphone apps that connect with the system. Now it's working with a competitor, Toyota, to form an open source software consortium. So why is this legacy automaker doing a total overhaul on the way it does business? When you think about an autonomous future, there, the future will not be determined by an OEM because there's so many other stakeholders, right? So you've got to figure out the insurance, there'll be litigation, there'll be regulations. Um, there'll also have to be kind of the infrastructure. And so Ford, in, when we entered into this new thought about becoming a mobility service provider, we also had to change our mindset about a consumer because now our consumer isn't just the individual behind the wheel. We now look at cities like San Francisco as a consumer and we have to say to them, what can we do to help ease the congestion in, a, in your city? How can we help you improve the quality of life mm -hmm. for people living in this densely populated area? As with many companies serious about digital transformation, Ford has adopted an agile methodology in its approach to workforce management. The whole idea is to encourage employees to think about new ways to serve customers and invent products, just as if they worked at a startup. So far, it's working. Ford says that it had more than 4,500 employees submit inventions only halfway through 2016. You're looking at one of those inventions now. The Carry was invented by Ford systems engineer Killian Vass. He was selected from 633 different proposals for personal mobility solutions as part of the company's last mile mobility challenge. The Ford Carry is a last mile mobility device. That means it's really for the last leg of the journey, commuting to a city centre or just getting around in the city. So imagine a guy who wants to commute to a city centre, just uses his car, but gets stuck into traffic jams. Um, he would lose a lot of time, but with the Ford Carry pre-installed to the car very well, because that's where it fits perfectly in every car, um, you can just switch to this device and save a lot of time by riding this the last mile to its final destination. Carry weighs just 25 pounds and can carry a 270 pound load up to 14 miles on a full charge. Owners could ride carry or use it to carry their bags and set it to follow them along. Inventions like this one are a priority at Ford. It set a company record for the number of new patents it was granted in 2016 with 1,442. That's a big jump from where Ford was just two years ago, and it puts it into the same category as technology vendors like Hewlett Packard, Fujitsu, and Panasonic. Owning more intellectual property is one of Ford's goals as part of its digital transformation. The contest it's hosting for employees is helping to achieve that goal. It won't be long before these inventions move from being a concept model at the auto show to another commercial product alongside the latest sedan. For IT World Canada, I'm Brian Jackson.